Welcome to Mindset, episode three, and uh, what an important topic today, uh, contentment, mm -hmm. contentment. And I love one of the verses on our outline, Isaiah 26, 3, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are set on you because they trust in you. And I know there are times where uh, I personally uh, lose sight of that and my mind gets on other things, and I, I, I stop being content because mm -hmm. I'm not set on Jesus. Um, and that's never good. Uh, in fact, we've got on the outline a few effects of not being content and never having enough. Yeah, it can lead to all kind of things, and we've all experienced these. Uh, the one of them is dissatisfaction. We're just not happy about anything. Conflict is another one. Worry, of course. You know, when we're not at peace, then, my goodness, we're worried about everything, worried about the future, worried about today. And then that's, of course, going to lead to fatigue. We're just tired. Uh, this verse uh, that Bo has put on our outline here will help us, I think, in um, contentment. Philippians 4.12 says, I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry whether living in plenty or in want. How to find contentment. Uh, number one, be grateful for what I have. And I love the verse, 1 Thessalonians 5.18, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Be grateful for what I have. There's so much power in just being thankful. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm thankful for so many things, my family, my job. Uh, uh, I just uh, don't take enough time probably to sit down and just tell God mm -hmm. how thankful I am or to tell yeah. others how thankful I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, just thinking about simple things like the verse you read at the beginning, I'm thankful that we can have peace, mm -hmm. you know, in a, in a day that's so full of turmoil. I'm thankful for health, you know, we've had a lot of sickness and uh, I'm thankful that, you know, I've got health today. I'm thankful that we've got air to breathe, <laughs> Yeah. you know, yeah. there's so many simple things and uh, I, it just calls to mind the verse, this is the day the Lord has made. I'll rejoice and be glad in it. I mean, every day I think we just have to stop in a fresh way and say, hey, I'm thank you. Yeah. I'm thankful. I love that, that, you know, it's a choice to sit down yeah, and be I thankful. I will, right. And, so maybe a great uh, reflection point here, if you're with some people, uh, share what you're thankful for. If you're just listening to this or watching this by yourself, uh, maybe write down five things that you're just really super thankful for. How to find contentment, number two, be generous with what I have. And uh, wow, there's nothing more gratifying perhaps than just uh, being generous and giving uh, unconditionally. Um, giving in situations where we're not getting anything out of it. Um, we're just giving. But uh, it helps foster contentment in our lives. And I love First Timothy uh, from chapter 6, command them to do good, be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. And uh, thank God we have a lot of opportunities right here at the church to uh, make a difference. We do. Generous. We actually have had a lot of people coming and uh, a lot of needs right here in our community. Um, you may not see it right there, but uh, it's out there. People are really in need of clothes and food, and um, we really have an opportunity right now where if you have some clothes or some food that you could bring, uh, that would be a really big help to our out team, and you can bring it right here to the church and just leave it there just inside the parking lot off of Chambers Road. Uh, you'll see the ramp there, and um, that would be a, a, a real blessing to the, those who need it. Absolutely. And maybe just take a moment if you're with some people and uh, just share a time when someone was generous to you, when someone gave to you and how that impacted you. And then maybe let that uh, discussion 
uh, go to where you can look for opportunities and are there opportunities that you have now maybe where you could give and be generous? Point number three, be godly about what I have. And I like this a lot. Matthew 5, 6 is one of the verses on the outline. God blesses those who hunger and thirst for justice, for they will be satisfied. And uh, that word satisfied is, uh, is an important word. God has blessed us with uh, material things, and God is such a gracious, giving God. Um, but if we're looking for satisfaction in our possessions mm -hmm. or in wanting more and more and more of uh, things that we can just have, um, we're not going to find satisfaction there. Um, we're going mm -hmm. to have those effects of never having enough. We won't truly have contentment, the contentment mm -hmm. that we can only find in a relationship with Christ. Yeah, I mean, that's an easy pit to fall into, you know, yeah. uh, uh, things that we have, things that we want to have. Uh, but, you know, the Bible tells us that uh, we brought nothing into the world and we're not going to take anything out. So yeah. uh, when they say, like, you know, the hearse doesn't have a U-Haul behind it or something, you there know, you it's, go. <laughs> it's, it's not that way. So God gave us things. Uh, for a reason, you know, yeah. that's to direct us toward him, to be grateful like we talked about and then to be generous with. Mm -hmm. So maybe that poses a question, you know, are there things that um, I have that you might have that maybe get in the way a little bit of of our relationship with God? Maybe we have a little bit too much focus on those things. And um, so maybe just uh, think through that for just a minute. <laughs> 